The PS1 has a lot of hidden gems, and Kix Neo is one of them. It may not look like much, but there's something very compelling about it. It's a game I find myself returning to again and again. Even my wife, who isn't a big retro gamer, enjoys playing it. When most gamers hear the word kicks, they normally think of the 1981 arcade game. It was popular at the time, and eventually spawned some sequels, including one called Volified. Kix Neo is a port of Volified, with an extra mode thrown in. If you played PlayStation back in the days, but never heard of this release, it's not surprising, since it was a $9.99 budget title that came out very late in the system's life cycle. The PS2 was also out at the time, grabbing everyone's attention. The concept of the game is quite simple. You draw lines and section off the playfield piece by piece, enclosing the main enemy into a smaller and smaller area. If any enemies or projectiles touch you while you're drawing a line, you die. You're safe from being killed if you're not in the process of drawing, and you still have time left on your shield. When you have 80% of the playfield captured, you proceed to the next level. Success in the game depends on your ability to analyze the enemy's patterns, how they move, how they shoot, and the noises they make. If there are too many enemies to deal with, there are ways of killing off the smaller ones. There's no music during gameplay, but that's okay in this case. It makes the creepy sound effects more prominent. And as mentioned, hearing the sound of the enemy is crucial to playing. The game has two modes, Original and Arrange. Original is simply the arcade game, while Arrange is an enhanced version of the arcade with better graphics and sound. Arrange is also a lot longer, 96 stages. But after stage 16, it simply starts repeating the same stages, just with slight differences. So what makes the game so fun? The best I can describe it is that it's extremely satisfying to slowly enclose the enemy into a smaller and smaller section, and there's so many different strategies to use when drawing the lines that every new play session feels different from the previous one. As with any other game, I have some complaints, and here's a rundown. The little cutscenes that explain the story are badly translated and they aren't on the screen long enough to finish reading. The power-ups tend to be too powerful, allowing you to win the stages instantly, in many cases. The stage with all the unpredictable bouncing balls is way too difficult, and depends more on luck than on skill. The biggest complaint I have, though, is the inability to save your progress. I've already mentioned the arrange mode has 96 stages. Getting through that takes about 6 hours, which is quite long for one play session. I had to break it up into two days by pausing the game halfway through, then leaving the PS1 running all night. What sucks is that there is a save function, but it's only for recording your high scores and your play settings. Before I wrap it up, I should mention that the game also came to the Sega Genesis, under the name Ultimate Kicks. There's some interesting differences, but overall the PS1 version plays much better. Kicks Neo is a fun game that's tremendously replayable. If you haven't experienced it, I suggest you give it a try. Even if you like it only half as much as I do, it's still worth your time.